Hello folks, it's time for another 60 second scripture slapdown. The issue this time has to do with the proper spelling of the name of this fellow, one of the greatest kings of Babylon mentioned in the Bible. The Bible spells his name two different ways. The first way is the one that is known to be historically correct. The other way is not thought to be historically correct, and is sometimes considered an error. Well, there are two ways you can solve this, and one of them is really funny. The one that isn't funny says that the different spelling is just a normal type of variation for the name. After all, in this time, spelling wasn't standardized, and even authors like Josephus spelled the same name different ways. That's a fine solution if you like it, but I like the funny explanation a lot better. It has to do with the fact that the king's real name, when translated, meant this. But by the different spelling, it could be read as this. So you might say it was a type of punning insult. That's a 60 second scripture slapdown. Until next time, this is JP Holding. See ya!